What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. So, I wanted to put the spotlight on a comment discussion that I had on my uh, Shakari Richardson uh, video about her being salty or proven wrong by Abby Steiner for getting it done in the 4x100 relay. So, one of the things that I really wasn't surprised that was brought up was a race factor. And I've been talking about this in some of my videos about Abby being white and how good actually that's a good thing for the sport but also for abby herself is one of the reasons why she gets a lot of hate right like that's the re that's kind of the reason why she gets haters it's, it's two different things it's 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 on it's the biggest out there who don't want to see a white girl succeed in short distance track and then the other thing is is you know she's an american and she's got hyped up a lot you know so obviously i think for a majority of the jamaicans that's why they hate on her because they don't want that threat from a, from the Americans to really kind of like be a... Because they, cause let's be honest, in the past 10, 15 years in this era, they really haven't had a real threat in, the, in, in track. They haven't... Like, the Americans are just starting to really come on. This is why a lot of us are calling this like a new era for US track and, USA track and field. We're getting better every four years in the sport. We're starting to get back to where, you know, where we can dominate again, right? But, um... So and stuff like that so abby is reigniting the sport you know we talked about that i talked about that a few times in my past week videos i was just going to my channel and watch all the abby signer videos i've done in the past month um and you'll see those discussions in my video so you know especially if you've never been to this channel before i definitely suggest that you do that but for those of you that have been on here y'all know y'all know y'all gotta go back and watch them unless you want to but um so we're going to start with this comment right here. Um, I'm trying to not make this like a super long video like I did with my Femk Bowl video. It went like 20 minutes. So I'm going to try to just say everything I'm going to say and then, you know, get on out of here. But so Big Said, uh, and shout out to Big Said, by the way, for making this post because it was the truth and it needed to be said. So he said that and he got a lot of likes for this. So obviously he was speaking truth. Uh, he says, I hate to say it, but they're hating because she's white. Shaking my head. I watched her in college and couldn't believe how good um she was and i became a fan i told somebody we won with two white chicks in a four by 100 which had never been done before he's right about that but they made a believer out of me and don't take this as a racist statement i'm just stating the facts they did they think and i never you know reading that i don't think most people read that as like a racist post even though he pointed out the truth about why she gets some hate it's not a racist post. I, I salute Big Say. I salute you for making that post because the truth needs to be said sometimes. And one thing you're always going to get from people who are biggest or whatever or racist is that they are definitely going to deny the truth. They're going to deny the truth. Anytime someone gets hated on because of the, this color of their skin, you're going to get that. You get it from all sides. I don't care who you are. You don't got to just be white and black. You can be Asian. You can be his, you know, Hispanic or uh, or whatever you are, you know, Pacific Islander at least, like, you could be whatever you are, and if you hate someone because of the color of their skin, you're going to do everything in your power to kind of deny that that's a real reason why this per like, you hate this person or why you dislike this person, whatever. And so, you know, most of the people here, except this guy Carlton Briscoe, you know, ha uh, was calling it a cat. And, uh, and so going through this uh this person agrees and then this person hot chihuahua uh as an american ethnicity doesn't matter i want our athletes to get the best training and do well in international competition every athlete needs to be focused on winning and be proud of the country that they represent and i'm gonna tell you something most um, most people when it comes to the pride factor of their country they don't really care about the color of their skin but race is sometimes a little bit important because you identify with whoever looks like you. And, w and the reason why Abby, why I explained in my past videos, why I, you know, I'm just going to reiterate it again, why she's good for the sport is because she's going to bring in an audience that's more relatable to her. Middle America, we talked about how, the, you know, we got these middle American sprinters coming out, you know, in the middle of America, rural places in America that don't haven't really been watching track and field right so you could get these people to get into the sport which is great great for nbc who needs to get their ratings up for the olympics right you know and that's great to get those kind of demographics in to the sport and now you got young girls who are white who 
probably wants to take up track now because of Abby Steiner. That's great for the sport. Why would you even be against something like that? Especially as an American, we want to get better. Maybe, you know, we have these white girls who haven't been taking them track, but maybe they have the talent. They never discovered it because maybe they didn't play sports. Like Abby discovered it because she was playing soccer and she knows that, you know, her coaches and stuff told her she was really fast. So she took up a track and the, the rest is history. You know, ended up going from a really good soccer player to just someone who made this, turn this into a pro career. That's how fast she was. And we got a lot of these girls coming on the scene. We just had one in the U20 last week that competed against the Jamaican twin, uh, one of the Clayton sisters. You know, uh, we saw her in that 100-meter race. They're coming, bro. I just talked about um, Rosheen Willis. She's coming. She's in the 800. She, she could be the next to Thane Mo. Like, we talked about this. She'll probably be in a 400 one day. Like, we talked about how these white girls are starting to come up. They build different, bro. And Abby has it in her blood because she's German. And German has a rich history in the sport of track. It's in her blood the reason why she's this fast. You know, we talked about Crab, who uh, raced uh, for Germany back in the early 90s. So that's who she really reminds me of. She reminds me like a combo of her and Alice and Felix. Because Alice and Felix was very versatile, too. Being in a lot of, you know, events, not just one, and that's it. You know, but, um, you know, let, let's let's get to uh, Carlton trying to deny the whole race factor. So, you know, I, I said what I had to say, and then he comes back. Not too long after, I think this is when I went to bed or something like that. So then Carlton Briscoe said, I said the same thing about Shakari when she got caught with weed, that it was a masking agent. The excuses uh, people were making didn't make any sense. So I kind of agree with your point on that, but I don't agree with your point. It has nothing to do because she's white. Partial truth for those weak-minded buffoons, bro, but not everybody is a bigot. What is the point of proving that not everybody's a bigot? If there's one bigot, that's that's too many bigots at all, right? <laughs> that means you got somebody out there literally hating on Abby because of the color of her skin. And it's more than just one person. It's, it's thousands. All right. I've heard it from Jamaicans and other black pro-black people coming into worlds. Like, let's not be a delusion and try to deny. It. And I don't know. I'm not trying to judge Carlton Briscoe. You know, I, you know, but when people usually deny that shit, they're usually bigots themselves. I'm just gonna have to assume he's a he's a bigot. And he's trying to deny the truth, um, because what if you weren't a bigot? Why would you deny what Big said said? Because Big said made a great point about it being about race. Now, when it comes to Shakari hating on Abby, could it be a little bit of because she's white? It could be. It could be. I mean, Shakari has a lot of reasons to hate on Abby side. She took the spotlight away from her, you know. Um, and she is white. And Shikari, from what I've gathered when I looked at her social media posts, she's kind of pro-black, right? She's kind of pro-black. So that could definitely be a factor. But what if Shikari, I mean, if, if if Abby was not as good, would Abby, would Shikari still come after Abby? That's why I don't want to assume that that's what she is, right? I don't I don't think Shikari is a big, as of right now. Now, maybe some of you will disagree with that. And if you do, Definitely put that down in the comment section. If you think Shikari is a bigot or racist or whatever, I, I wouldn't go as far as a racist because I don't think she like cold blooded like that. I don't think she's someone who would write people out just because of the color of their skin completely. I think she's a little bit of a bigot though. If anything, she's a little bit of a bigot though. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't perceive her to be that extreme with her. If she has any hate for white people, but I, I, I don't, I don't think that's the case though. Um, but there are people like that out there. And there's, there's people who are probably pro-black who want. And, and, and I can understand it a little bit. Now, I'm black myself, but I like to see people succeed in anything. I was happy, you know, Tiger Woods, Serena Williams being black. Any black hockey players I see when they excel. Even baseball's got to the point right now where there's not as many black players that it used to be. So I'm rooting for all the black players to succeed. I will admit that, you know, I do want to see people who aren't, um, the 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 who people who are the minority in their sports succeed i think it's fun you know what i'm saying i think it's fun when they succeed and they can bring in different audiences man um because it's good for the sport i always like to look at things from a business perspective that's why i love my guy indian uh media uh indian sports media go by the way go and go on ahead and subscribe to the channel uh after this video but like yeah i like to um uh, you know 
I like to look at that from a business perspective and how good it is. I think Abby's good for business, man. She really is. She's good for business, and I think she's just good overall for the sport, motivating more girls that look like her who live in America who might want to take a track. Because I think there's a lot of fast white girls out there who could succeed in short-distance sprinting. You know what I mean? I think they can, you know. Um, and I've always heard it from people, oh, it's because of the way black people are made or whatever. It doesn't come down to that, man. It's really, yeah, genetics does play a real big factor. I will admit that. Genetics play a real big factor, but you still have to be trained up um, real good, you know. You have to be trained up. And like I said, there's a lot of white people in track who have succeeded, especially in the earlier days. Um, like, I, that's why I brought up the Germans, and that's what Abby is. Like, you do. You have white people who can run, man. And so, you know, but to deny, to me, to deny that that's a coward move, Carlton Briscoe. I don't care what you say, man. That's a that's a coward move. You can, you can at least admit that is part of the reason, bro. And it's pretty obvious. You're not fooling anybody by saying it's not. Like, any... Oh, like any um, adult would not go for that and believe that. We've been in the world too long to know what's, what's, when somebody's being a bigot and when somebody's not being a bigot, bro. We, we've been in this world too long, bro. Even a kid that's 12 could probably read someone who's being a bigot, bro. Because they learned about it in history, right? Or they might have dealt with it in their real life. There, there's still kids today, you know, like, look, maybe kids aren't as racist as they used to be, but there's still kids today, especially kids who are not going to schools in diverse environments who are probably got a little bit of hate for the other races themselves. It's just, it's a, it's an endless cycle that's never going to end, bro. But, you know, it's been slowed down quite a bit in the past few decades where people are getting along with each other, hanging out with each other. Look at the, uh, that's why I love what I saw on the relay teams, not just the American team, but you know, you saw it in other countries, like German had a good, diverse looking team. United Kingdom always has a really good, diverse looking team. You don't just see one race dominating the whole team. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where you, we're making progress in the sport. And so, you know, like I said, people are going to continue to hate on Abby because of the color of her skin. And that's something that she's got to deal with. She is the minority in this sport and stuff like that. And the reason, and, and somebody had brought up too uh, a while ago, why Prandini probably didn't get that same amount of hate that Abby has. And it's because Abby, I mean, it's because Abby is more hyped than Jenna was. Jenna wasn't hyped up to this level that Abby has been hyped up to. You know what I'm saying? But if Jenna was better, she would have gotten that hate. And she's probably got some hate over the years. I'm pretty sure she has. I've, I've actually read some people that have hated on. But she doesn't get as much. Also, Jenna's a little bit different because she's Italian as well. And Italians are kind of different when it comes to the average European Caucasian, right? They're, they're a little bit, a lot of them had darker skin color. Uh, so they have Northern, a lot of them had Northern African blood in them. Not all of them, you know, like the, 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 Sicil the Sicilians have a lot of that Northern African blood in them. So they're probably like a quarter black. And, you know, a lot of them look like they could be Latina, you know, like Jenna Prandini could pass for a Latina as well, not just a white person. Like if you really didn't know she was, Italian, you would either say she's white or she's probably Latina. Like, I've actually, uh, I had a friend who didn't know who Jenna Prandini was last year before the Olympics. I think this was during trials, who said, hey, is Jenna, hey, who's that girl right there? Is she a Latina? And I had to say, no, she's not Latina, she's white. I was like, she's Italian, bro. And so a lot of people don't know that, but like I said, that's why Prandini could get away with it a little bit. And when you when you see Abby, you're not down anything. She looks white, bro. <laughs> Like, she looks straight up white. Like, she don't look like someone who's uh, mixed like that. You know what I'm saying? She looks white. Um, and so, it's a little bit different. Her hype is different. It's a little bit more. And I think people are more focused on her than Jenna was coming out of college. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a little bit different with Abby, bro. Um, and Abby has a lot of promise to her. But, like I said, just to deny it, just to be denied it, I think it's the wrong way to go, man. Uh, I just don't agree with Carlton Briscoe here. I believe Big Said was telling the truth. I think it was all facts. And, um, you know, I definitely can't wait to hear y'all comments coming out of this one. But go ahead and get this one a, a video like y'all. Hit the like button. Subscribe. To, I mean, share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments you got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. Uh, big shout out.
to my boy David Close who sent that $10 dono last week. I really appreciate it, bud. And if you want to send something like that, you can either send it through, like I said, the Super Thanks button through Google, or you can uh, hit on my Cash App. I do have a Cash App. Hit the dollar sign sack exchange, and you can donate, donate there. So for the rest of this video, like I said, you know, um, I got a patriotism video that I'm planning on doing. I'll probably record that one tomorrow. It's going to talk about Abby and patriotism. Uh, so be on the lookout for that one. And then um, I'm going to make a hype video. The next hype video, I decided what it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be God Bless America. Uh, because I want to do I want to do some tie-ins to the patriotism thing from Abby on this next hype video. Um, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna tie all of that in the next two. And I'm still going to make a different, uh, more sexual-oriented hype video as well for Abby. Like I did with Butterfly. So um, I, I'll probably have two in one week. Because I'm planning on doing at least two hype videos next week so be on the lookout for that but uh i want to thank you guys who uh supported the shikari richardson video uh by abby and anybody who watches this one so man a salute to all y'all thank y'all for watching stay blessed and don't hate for don't hate on people because of the color of their skin it's okay look the end of the day it's okay to root for people who you identify with if you if you are black and you root for other blacks there's nothing wrong with that just don't hate on somebody because of the color of their skin. That's what we, that's what we're really saying around here. We're not saying you can't root for someone that looks like you. You know what I'm saying? That, that's why I say even last year I said Shakari was good for the sport because she had the ratchet look, and that was like inspiring for black females who maybe look like her, and maybe they'll take up track. You know, and they're a little bit different. Maybe they'll take up track because of Shakari Richardson. You know, when you have unicorns like this, it's good. It's good and great for the sport, man. So thank you guys for watching After News Delight.